Today in this video, we'll talk about what is unattended robot and how to create unattended robot in modern folder. As you know, there are two types of folder in orchestrator. One that is modern folder and second classic folder. Unattended robots should only be used for running and debugging the process in the person. It runs unattended in virtual environments and can automate any number of process. It doesn't require human intervention to run the process as it can be scheduled to run on a specific date and time. So in the attended robots, you have to manually run the job from the you know robot assistant and then you have to stop from there. It means you cannot do anything from the orchestrator. But here in the unattended robot, you can directly run your job from orchestrator you can schedule your job so there's there's no human intervention first you just have to schedule and automatically your process will be executed on the specific date and time best feature of this robot is it can run the process in sign out mode as, as well it means you just have to keep your system in the sign out mode and automatically this unattended robot will log in into your machine and then it will you know start the job and it will you know execute the process and then it will stop that one it means it will end that one and then it will sign out your machine as well now jobs can also be started or stopped from the orchestrator now we'll go to orchestrator so that i can show you how to create unattended robot in the modern folder so here you can see left side we have two folders one that is modern and second that is classic you can identify this based on this color of this folder this is red color so this is classic folder and this is blue it means modern folder if you are using classic folder you have to manually provision the robots it means you have to manually set up the robots you have to create an environment so you have to create the machine you have to create the robots you have to select that which type of robot you want to create like standard or template one in the modern one there is no need to create you know machine you know, or there is no need to create environments it will you know create the robots based on your selection if you choose attended it will create the robot there i will show you how to create robot how to create unattended robot in the moderns but before that i can show you the previous one that we were following earlier so if you click on this classic folder and then go to the robots and click on this plus and we have two options standard robot and floating robots we'll click on standard robot you have to select your machine name you have to enter that name of the robot you have to select the type of robot you have to enter the details of domain name and username and then you can create like that now again we have to add the environments we have to map the robots with that environments now in the modern folders what we are doing if you need to create unattended robots or any robots like attended or unattended robots you have to go to the modern folder and then select your tenant because whatever robot you will create that will be assigned to your tenant so we'll click on this tenant if you'll go to the machines you can see here we have one standard machine that is the same same as your computer name now to create unattended robot you have to click on users now select your username this is the username click on this three option click on edit here you can see this is the user details this is your user name that you created for this one now there are two robots available here attended robot and unattended robots so i want to create unattended robots so i will first I don't need that so I can disable that and click on unattended robots now enable this one and here you need to enter the domain name slash username so to find out this domain name slash username you have to write cmd command and then you have to pass who am I and then you will get your machine name and then your username domain name slash username this is the same that I have already entered here. Now you need to enter your Windows password so that 
this unattended robot can log in into your machine and then work on that if you want to run this on the schedule mode now enter the windows credential select here what type of credential you have entered here so this is windows credential now click on update now once we'll click on update now if we'll go to the robots and click on this unattended session and you can see here a few seconds ago we created this one we have now unattended robot i have created one process and i have this data this is for ui demo now let me run this so that i can show you how it will process so it will first read the data from excel and then it will log into the ui demo application and then it will start processing one by one data and you can see here and the item has been processed now you can see the output here in the outputs we have one two second number is the business exception third is the business exception fourth fifth sixth sixth is the business exception same way we have completed that now i'm, I'm going to show you how to run this from the orchestrator first we need to publish this process to orchestrator so for that so here we are getting publish option because we have connected our studio with the unattended robot now click on publish and you can put the specific name that you want to write here unattended boat and then you can update the release notes work on ui demo attended robot now click on publish so this will be published to the ui path orchestrator directly now go to the modern folder and here we have automation and now in the automation click on this process click on this plus and then we need to configure our process so select the package so our package name is un unattended boot select that one select the version and then you can see entry point by default that is main selected here now click on continue now do not do anything here now click on create now process has been created with this name unattended dot boat and now you can run the job from here you can start a job now you can see here we have this process name job type is unattended so there are two robots that's a part of unattended non-production and unattended so we'll select this one and here we have option user and machine if you want to assign especially you can also select the user and then you can select the machine name and then you can start this and you see here command sent you can see it has been now, now launched and it is it has started processing here and now you can go to the jobs and now you can see job is successful right click on this click on view logs and you can see here now we have 10 records let me click on this select 25 and you can see here 1 2 3 number is the business rule exception like that so you can all the data has been processed now now i can show you one more thing here uh, i will start the job from orchestrator and i will you know lock my screen i will press windows plus l so what i'm going to do i'm going to process click on job click on start and then i'm going to press windows l but before that let me first wait for uh, the application once the application will be launched i will press window l now this has been opened now i'm pressing window l and my system has been locked now what i will do after some time i will log into this machine 
and then I will show you the item has been successfully processed or not. Now let me lo log into my machine so that so that we can see data has been processed or not. And you can see data has been processed here. Uh, we don't have any pending queue in the jobs. A few second, click on view logs, and you can see here all the data processed. We didn't get any error. So it means unrated robot can run your job in the logged screen as well in the sign out mode as well so i hope you like this video if so please like this video and share with friend and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe thank you so much guys